Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we were looking for things. Now, uh, I think we are actually in the wrong area. Because we've got some discoveries to make. We've just taken out the chameleon, which was a good time. But there's still a couple of discoveries around here. I was in the right area. I just wasn't in exactly the right spot. And there should be something around here somewhere they say optimistically there we go <laughs> and of course we get a battle god damn it uh anyway so in this video we're also going to be going to moonstone mountain hopefully if we have time uh, not actually a very long area to be honest but there's a lot of goodies in there and uh, i actually have a tip from chris to cheese the uh boss which uh, i've never tried but we're going to try it just to see how effective it is. So, we found the Tertilla Pole. Tertilla Pole. It is a wooden pole with the faces of people and various animals engraved onto its length. The upper and lower portions were lost years ago, so nobody knows what its true purpose was. A monument? A grave? Or perhaps a store sign? Maybe. We may never know. Anywho, let's get out of here. So, we had that... Now, what else is there to find around here? Uh, we have, if we go this way, we actually go back to the village. There's something to find under the village. We can just get these fights. Oh, God. Hang on. What have we got here? Let's. Let's use some Cutlass Fury. Sure. And then see if anyone else gets lucky. Do it. Kill them. Hey, not bad. Okay, two out of three. I'll take it. Get a decent amount of gold for that as well. And we're going to need some gold in a minute because we've got some purchasing to make. Right, now there should, under here, be another discovery. I say should. Where are you? This one is a little bit fiddly to find. But it should pop up. I think that's why uh, some people do actually miss these discoveries. Because they're really finicky. Some of them are pretty generous. And other ones you have to really be in that exact right spot for them to trigger. But that's okay. It is what it is. Now, as much as I'm tempted to turn off the battles... I don't really want to do that because we miss out on experience and stuff. So. Right, it should... Oh, come on. You know what would make it better is if um, you could buy an item, like a repel or something that actually stops quick time battles happening. But I don't think there is one, sadly. But that's okay. You know, Money, experience and all that good stuff. Although that was a pitiful amount of money. Barely worth our time, if I'm being honest. Come on, it's here in the roots somewhere. It's gonna be a really annoying little find, isn't it? Yeah, we're right. We're right here, where we should be. Just gotta find the correct little pixel. There's actually couple of other things we have to find as well. We also need to go find the king. And most of the enemies have run away, which... You okay, all the enemies ran away, which... Whatever. It's just thanks for wasting my time, game. Uh, come on. I'm trying to get the hitbox just right. Come on. Where are you? Hmm. We got it. Right, there we go. You have found the Garpa fruits. A vine plant that hangs from the bottom of the continent. Its stem contains a powerful hallucinogen. Ooh. And it has been used for medicinal and religious purposes through the ages. It is also commonly used in local delicacies. Wow. So, you can go get a 
<laughs> you can trip balls whilst trying the local curry. Ah, okay, I'll be down for that. Right, let's waste these guys. Now, there's also memory serves. Two other things that we have to find as well, but that's cool. So, no, three things we have to find, I think. Yes. One we should be able to see. Right, there's one around here. So, come on. There should be a temple around here somewhere. Or maybe you can't find the temple until you found the golden statue. Which is here. We found the oh the golden man that is apparently comically pointing at something. It's actually an important thing to find. A golden statue that stands quietly as if pointing something out. It's thought to have been placed here to protect the sacred land. Male statues are often found in temples and other buildings, whilst female statues are found near holy lakes and trees. Oh, there you go. Bit of lore and trivia for you. I'm going to drink coffee. Ugh, much better. What's this? Something set into the statue's eye socket. You found the golden man's eye. Hey, nobody will notice if it's missing, right? And besides, we're air pirates. Can you really blame us for taking a little bit of treasure? Well, I guess not. Uh, let's have a little look at that, shall we? Can't remember where that is. It's probably key items. Golden man's eye. A beautiful orange gem found set into the eye of the golden man statue. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right. Fine. Now, what else have we got going on? I don't think there's anything here. Pretty sure there isn't. Now, somewhere, there's a temple and there's a big... Other thing we need to find too. Right, there we go. That should be the temple. We found the Ixitakan Palace. The Ixitakan Palace. This stone palace was once the site of ceremonies based on the ancient lunar calendar. Built during the reign of the Moon Kings, this place flourished as the centre of Ixitakan civilization for ages, but was destroyed several years ago by the Valuans. Yeah, big sad guys. And of course we have this. Oop. You have found the great bird. The great bird, the wings and tail of the great bird are said to indicate the uh, equinoxes of the ancient Xitakan uh, Viridilunia calendar. Or Verdilunia ca lunar calendar. <sighs> Figures of other animals once dotted the plain, but they've been swallowed by the expanding forest, leaving only the bird. Hey, Ica, do you see something glittering down? Right there, the eye of that bird would be. Hey, you're right, let me go down and see what it is. Hey, Vase, I just found something. There's a gem stuck into the ground. I'm sure they won't miss this little itty bitty gem, would they? You found the great bird's eye. Besides, who knows when a nice little gem like this will come in handy. Mm-hmm. Important discovery. Right, let's go. Let's go talk to the king, shall we? King Ixitaka. So, you are the people that have come from the eastern skies. The high priests informed me of your arrival. Lovely music here again as well. They also told me that you drove off the fire-breathing ship that was destroying our land. I thank you on behalf of my people, the forests and quieter. It was nothing, really. We were just doing what we thought was the right thing to do. Aww. Aika, so sweet and innocent. King Ixitaka, I was driven from my land and forced to live in this hut. I'm sorry, but I do not. Uh, but I am not in the position to compensate you for your bravery. However, I'll do anything that is within my power as king to reward you. Is there anything I can do for you? Actually, your majesty, we did have something to ask of you. We're looking for the green moon crystal. The green moon crystal. Perhaps you speak of the legendary sacred green stone. The men from Valua came looking for the same thing, but I don't know where it is. 
However, if the stone did exist, it would probably be located in the lost city of Rixis. Or, yeah, Rixis. Lost city? Rixis. Ah, I believe that was the name of the capital of Ixitaka in the old world. You're correct, and it's said that the buildings, even the streets, were made of pure gold. Gold? <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's find Rixis right now. All right, calm down, Ica. Jesus Christ. Calm down, Ica. You're embarrassing me. So, do you know where Rixis is located? Uh, I'm afraid not. It has been hidden for generations. Our people call it the City of Mists. It may not even exist anymore. One of my high priests knows a great deal about the old world. His name is Ispa. If anyone would know, it would be him. Ah, yes. Ispa. An interesting character. I see. Would it be alright for us to meet Ispa? Hmm. Ispa is not here. The Valuans took him to the Sacred Mountain. In the mountain is a mine that contains what you call moonstones. So the Valiant's kidnapped one of your high priests, and he's being held prisoner in Moonstone Mountain. Base, what should we do? Well, let's. Uh, we can either try to find Rixus by ourselves, not a good idea, or we can break into the Moonstone Mines. Let's break into the Moonstone Mines. We can try and save Ispa. Hmm, it appears to be our only option. Breaking into a Valiant stronghold isn't going to be easy. You're willing to risk your lives to save Ispa. Our sacred mountain is south of the uh, Horteca village. Be careful. Leave it to us. Onward to Moonstone Mountain. Aye. But before we leave, there is a jam here. You received a jam. Excellent. Uh, we're actually pretty close to getting another uh, upgrade, actually, for pupil. I believe his next upgrade is a sword. Right, let's go for some pupil action. There we go. Uh, okay, cool. Right, I'm going to leave. Uh, we can actually talk to these guys, but they don't really have too much to say. Our kingdom has been destroyed. Even the king is forced to live in conditions not fit for beasts. And as old as I am, I can do nothing. Uh, not fit for beasts. Be this place doesn't look that bad. I mean, come on. Whatever. The Valuans have made Moonstone Mountain into their headquarters. Ah, yeah. Uh, 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 the king left that um, little detail out, didn't he? Moonstone Mountain is south of Hortica. If you plan on going, be careful. Right, you are. So we've got a champ, which is good. Uh, let's go back to the little jack. Now, I like how this little, uh, <laughs> he's hiding, you know, out amongst the forest somewhere. Not that inconspicuous when you think about it. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to check my checklist and I'll be right back with you. Okay, let's go. Now, we want to talk to this chap up here, I think. Is it you? No, it's not you. What the hell is this? Ah, you have found the wings of gold. I didn't even have, I didn't even realize that one. The wings of gold. A small machine with giant golden wings recently discovered near the ancient city. Perhaps the people of ancient world wish to be able to fly like the birds and the fish. So they created this flying machine so they could join the flight. Cool. Okay. That, that was new. I did not realize. Okay. We need to go see this chat anyway. Alright, the dude. Go have a little chin wag. Black market ship parts dealer. Shh. Kid. I've got some value in arms here. I also buy and sell discovery information. I've got everything you need. Yeah, because there's no um, ship mer or discovery merchant here. Uh, luckily, this guy handles all of that for you. So, let's go sell all of our info. We got Bleak Rock. Which isn't too bad. 800 for that. We got the Sky and Enemy. 720, not bad. Ixie Taka. There we go. Garpa Fruits. Nice. The Great Bird. We'll take it. 
Getting some good amount of money here. Golden Man, Palace, Village, Maroon Isle, Comma Rock. So, so the Pole and the Wings of Gold. Wow, Wings of Gold is worth a lot. Uh, now, sell info. No info to sell, but we can buy. At least this will tell us everything we have so far. And uh, let me just check everything off. One second, guys. Okay, now also we have some weapons here to buy. And, oh, no, we don't want that. We also want to buy some weapons, some ship parts, because now we certainly have the money. We've got the G-type cannon. So we're going to buy, ooh, I don't know. We're going to buy one G-type cannon. Uh, and we're going to stick it there. Now, we could replace our standard cannon here, uh, which potentially is not a terrible idea, actually. Uh, we'll replace that with a, uh, yeah, let's go for the, Thank you for the coffee. Thank you. Oh, coffee. Lovely. Uh, we could. Yeah, let's get one of those as well. What should we replace? Uh, we'll keep the three inch blaster for now because we're going to get an upgrade for that in the next dungeon. Uh, standard cannon is kind of obsolete, I guess. So let's stick the five inch cannon there. Why not? Um, right. And the shock torpedo as well. Let's get the shock torpedo, because that's better than the light torpedo. Um, now. Now, again, when it comes to, like, upgrading your ship with this sort of stuff, it's kind of up to you, really. Crafted after a mystical red bird and decorated with red feathers increases magic defense. Yeah, the Pyrin figure. Uh, I don't really care too much about magical defense, to be honest. Um, hmm. We're definitely going to get the bore up kit anyway, because that will replace the turbo. And the floor heater, which takes advantage of engine heat to keep living quarters nice and comfortable, which is um, nice, but it doesn't really do anything to us. So we're not going to worry about that too much. Now, uh, we've got plenty of dulux kits as is but we'll get get another 11 of those bring us up to 40 because why not yo okay uh oh also we want to buy some gear grease because this reduces friction in the gears improving power transfer restores spirit so this is what chris was saying about uh you can use this stuff to generate spirit um which is actually really nice I think it gives you 10 spirit per use, which is really bloody good. Anyway, we're done now. Uh, hunting for treasure in this area, good luck. It's not easy finding uh, anything that a Domingo hasn't already discovered. Yeah. Yeah, fuck that guy. I'm not going to be worried about him. Now, we need to go and get a couple of um, Abrit Chans thinking about it. So, I've got to try and think. We need to go to the southeast because there should be another ship that has appeared in the southeast somewhere that we can trade with. But of course we get attacked. Of course we do. Now, Unfortunately, using a Delta Storm here doesn't really help because Delta Storm isn't very effective against these enemies. At least, I don't think it is. But that's fine. Anyway, where is this ship? Is this the ship we're looking for? It could well be. Hey, dude. Uh, other people, ah yes, other people eat berries and seeds. We really like to, ski, uh, to eat the sky sardis, but they're harder to catch than berries and seeds. Can you please bring me ten? 
Uh, if you want sky service, I have ten right here. You can have them if you want. You give me ten. Uh, you give ten sky service to the captain of the ship. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Mmm, I love fish. I eat them every day, but they're too hard to catch. They're really not, though. Thank you. I'm very grateful. Bless you. Bless you. I'm really, uh, I'm very grateful. Take this as a symbol of my appreciation. You received one abric cham. Yeah, these abric chams. Uh, there's only three of them in the game. Uh, and we can feed them to our friend here. If Cubal eats an abric cham, he will evolve to his next form. Yes. Now, I don't want to give him that yet because he's very close to evolving to another form anyway. So I'm going to wait for him to evolve to that form and then I'm going to feed him this one. Now, we can actually go get another Abrek Cham, uh, but that involves us going back to the desert. So we'll, yeah, we'll worry about that another time. Uh, so what else do we have to do? Right, I guess we're just going back to Moonstone Mountain now. As I think we're pretty much up to date on everything else we need to do. So Moonstone Mountain it is. Now I could go for guaranteed kills on these enemies, but I, this is, oh, I mean, we killed it anyway, so that's fine. We did it. We did, it. We did Fina. We did. We totally did it. Ooh, black map. What does that do? Um, yeah, we'll be blown away. Actually, should we go for a ship battle? Should we go see... Where are we? Ah, crap. We're, like, all the way down here. I was going to say, the winds are taking us. Let's go fight this guy. Let's see how our new weaponry handles. Actually, there is also one other thing. When we fought the chameleon, we, we have a 50-50% chance of getting another gun. Ah... Uh, we didn't get it. That's unfortunate. I think it's the B-type cannon. The cannons used on Armada ships when they defeat uh, when they defeated Ixitaka. Slightly outdated, but powerful. All right. Oh, ah, oh, shit. What have we got? Just some standard grunts. We'll kill them. Come yeah, on, guys. Make short work of these imbeciles. There we go. Nice. Right, let's try our new weaponry, shall we? Hey, rank up. Electrum. Nice. Right, come on you. Let's send you to the bottom. Uh, did we really just get a random battle before we touch that other ship? Ugh. Dude. Dude. Do not like. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Damn it. That was incredibly unlucky. I think that only has like a 50-50% chance. Why well, say 50-50? I mean, that's pretty bad. Okay. Uh, hey, we've got Moonberry for that as well. Not bad. Now, unfortunately... Um... You know, going back and playing this on an actual system without being able to fast forward kind of sucks because of how many battles there are. Anyway, all who dare oppose us shall face the full wrath of Valiant Empire. Yeah, I don't think so, pal. I think you're about to have your bottom spanked, to be honest. Right, let's use some gear grease. Actually, Fina can use the gear grease. We are going to use the... Uh, let's go for that. Ica. Let's try the... Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, right, we don't have enough power to use it, do we? Yeah, that's also unfortunate. Well, let's go for a shock torpedo then. Uh, fire it. There. Sure. 
Uh, and I guess, to be honest, we just use two units of gear grease. Uh, not a very efficient way of using it, obviously, because we're not min-maxing the amount of damage by using the right crew, but it doesn't matter. Like, this guy isn't really much of a threat, though. Though that pyre really does hurt, doesn't it? Alright, let's get that torpedo away. Yeah, he's really hurting us. This could be pretty bad. Yeah, look how much that gear grease really helps. Is he going to use Pyre again? No, he's not. That's good. <laughs> I'm glad he's focusing. Because otherwise, well, that would have been a little bit awkward, wouldn't it? Ah, Type G cannon missed. Because, of course, it did. Eh, sub cannon. We can handle that. So, weapons are definitely doing more damage. It's not, you know, amazing, but eh, it works. So, let's see if we can just hammer him with these weapons. Ica, go for that. really annoying that we have an attack coming on the second turn. Um, you know what? Do that. Uh, Fina, I want you to use a Dulux kit because we need it. We really need it. And then we'll go for Bridge Blasters again, I suppose. Yeah, sure. Yeah, 5-inch cannon does a good chunk of damage. Now, this could be bad. Nope, we're good. That could have been really bad, but we're okay. We're all good. It's all gravy, baby. Yeah, that 5-inch cannon is really doing the, the damage we want. Lovely. Standard cannon? The standard cannon isn't really hurting us much anymore. Which is nice to see. Ah, oh, god damn it. Who fired that cannon? Alright, he's awaiting orders, which is fine. Yeah, the three inch blaster is just obsolete. It really is. Ah, oh, he's taking evasive action. Interesting. Okay, so let's just finish this idiot. Get it done. Um, I guess we'll just hit him with everything else. Cool. Focus. He should be dead now anyway. He's not going to survive this weapon. Seventeen thousand damage. Oh, God. Right. Unfortunately, you really don't get a lot for doing those. You've got a big bomb, I suppose, but it's pretty irrelevant. Um. Now, what I'm going to do here, guys? Basically, out of time. Can we get some of these squid? Yeah, we got some of these squid. So I think we're going to save it. When we return, actually, let's just get to Moon Mountain literally right here and the whole of the next video can just be moon mountain Oop. and here we are at the next area so we've got a hell of a trek to get up here <laughs> see the uh, value in soldiers looking pretty badass uh, they're not 
unfortunately we can't get through this door. This door has been welded shut. It looks like they're serious about keeping the Ixie Tackens in here. Yeah, this is a very dark place. It seems kind of... This game has like a cartoony look to it. And, you know, for the majority of its uh, gameplay, it's pretty upbeat and happy. But, oof, no. There's, there's, <clears throat> there's some spice. Some uh, serious spice that happens. Anyway. I'm going to save it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. When we come back, we're going to delve deeper into the mines.